River is receding tonight slowly. It crested at its highest flood peak since 1997 over the weekend. The river hit 57.7 feet yesterday afternoon. It is already dropping now. It's at 56 feet tonight, but that's still four feet above flood stage. And the high water meant hundreds of students at Riverview East Academy headed to a temporary new home today. WLWT News 5's Mariah Turner shows us where the students will be going to class probably for the rest of the week. Since 2005, Riverview East Academy has been known for its waterfront location, but every year when the springtime rolls around, flooding concerns are on the minds of staff and administrators. It's nothing new for the students at Riverview East. The same event happened back in 2011 twice. However, this time the flood was higher, two feet higher. And to make matters worse, it took place during Ohio graduation testing week, an important time for 10th grade students. Letters sent home last week, as well as phone calls made over the weekend, helped to keep lines of communication open and make families aware school would still be in session. Got you. Your phone right there. One of the challenges today was the students didn't know where they were going uh, in terms of which classroom was which, but um, we feel like the plan is in place and the students are in classrooms. 80% of students, to be exact, an impressive number considering the entire K-12 school was moved more than 20 minutes north of its original location. Students living in the Riverview area who walked to school were bused to Jacobs Center. And although the Riverview area is known to be flood prone, Principal Myers believes the location of the school will always be essential. There's very little damage that happens actually to the school building because it is on stilts. So uh, that's, I think, a positive. And it does provide for the community. So we're inconvenienced for a week, but the community and the students in the community are able to be provided for. And I think that's the most important focus that we should be centering on. Students and staff at Riverview East can expect to be displaced for the next few days, at least until the water recedes and cleanup is finished. In Winton Hills, Mariah Turner, WLWT News 5.